Hi folks, in this video we're taking a look at Cyberpunk 2077 running on the PS5 and Sony A80J OLED TV. We'll also take a look at the PS5 graphics settings options available for this game. I should point out that all footage in this video is from the open world, so there's no story spoilers here. The recent 1.5 next gen update finally delivered a native PS5 version of this game. It's fair to say that Cyberpunk launched in a pretty rough state, so a lot of people have been waiting for this update. This was a huge update that brought improved visuals, a more populated open world, a load of bug fixes, as well as a wide range of gameplay tweaks and improvements. I'm pleased to say that this update mostly delivers the goods, offering a solid game experience with a top-notch story and engaging characters set in a visually stunning open world. Really, this is the state Cyberpunk should have been in at launch. The soundtrack and general sound design are another really strong point of this game. I've put in nearly 50 hours on this game so far. I've noticed a few minor bugs and graphical glitches here and there, but these have been rare and don't spoil your enjoyment of the game. Night City definitely looks incredible on OLED, with inky black levels and neon colours that really pop. The open world might not be as interactive as a game like GTA, but they've definitely nailed the visuals and general aesthetic of this game. Combat is also solid and offers a wide range of weapons to wreak havoc with. As an RPG title, there's a reasonable amount of customization and a variety of builds you can go for to make your preferred character play style. As far as the graphic options go, you basically have two options on the PS5, with both featuring dynamic resolution that's upscaled to 4K. The first option offers ray trace graphics with the game running at 30 FPS. To be honest, I wasn't that impressed when I tried this mode. The impact of the ray trace reflections and shadows were minimal, and gameplay generally felt a little sluggish at 30 FPS. For me, the 60 FPS performance mode is the way better option. Whilst you lose the ray tracing, the game still looks fantastic and is simply more enjoyable to play. Combat, driving and general gameplay is just more fluid at 60 FPS, so I think this mode will be the smart choice for most people. All in all, Cyberpunk 2077 is now well worth checking out, offering awesome visuals and soundtrack, alongside an excellent story with solid side missions, all set in an atmospheric open world. I know there's some major expansions of this game planned, so this Cyberpunk story is one that's set to run for the next few years. What about you guys? What are your thoughts on this game? Have you played Cyberpunk on PS5? Or are you planning to? Let me know in the comments. That's a wrap for this video. I've been Tom Hyphen. Like and subscribe for more. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching.